Now, moving on. The Royal Rumble <laughs> is at the end of the month. The formula yes. is the winners get a WWE title shot at WrestleMania. It's been that way for years. Is that too formulaic, Nate? Would you rather see that, or would you rather see a storyline to set up the main event at WrestleMania? Well, I mean, I you think can it, do both, I, 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 think, I think it kicks off... The, I think it kicks off the storyline for WrestleMania. And you just kind of build from there. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, they start in January, and they've got four months to make the winners of both those, on both the men and women's Royal Rumble, they have four months to build that into the, the, the biggest match of the year. I, I think next week... I, you know, that, see, when I, when I won it, I wasn't... That I wasn't I wasn't assured of going to WrestleMania, which I didn't. Make sense? I did, but not the way it was supposed to go. Well, you winning the Royal Rumble and winning the WWE title is kind of a self-contained story. Exactly. Whereas now the Royal Rumble is something that moves on toward yeah. WrestleMania. There's a difference yeah. in the way it's booked. Yeah, and it, 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 I'll tell you, the last couple of years have been absolutely phenomenal. They've had some damn good stuff with Ashley and Bianca Belair and... Um, God, the, the girls' stuff has been... Actually, I think the girls' battle royal is as, as good as the boys. Yeah, no, I think in some cases better. I think in yes. some cases less predictable. Yeah, no, it is. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm dying to see what they do with Charlotte. She's going to be in it. You know, maybe she'll... You know, who knows? Well, if she wins it, maybe she can challenge herself. That'd be a hell of a match. <laughs> yeah. Well, she, she probably could work with herself. I've worked with myself a few times. Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> Uh, now, now uh, we're, we're gonna now next week's show. Yes. Next week's is going to be an in-depth dive into the 1992 Royal Rumble, which you won. 60 minutes, WWE champion. Great promo afterwards. But just to give a little bit of a tease, how do you not get lost in the ring during the Royal Rumble? How does everything come off so relatively organized with so many men in wrestlers coming and going every couple minutes? Well, in this situation, and one of the reasons that, that it's, I think, so highly thought of in history is there's probably 18 guys in the Hall of Fame. I mean, everybody in that ring that night had name recognition. Everybody had a successful career. And it was like the start of, of Sean. You know, I mean, that's kind of, that didn't kick off Sean, but I mean, he was young in that. I mean, look at the guys that were in that damn thing. It's amazing. And, um, I just feel like, um, you know, it was the guys that were in it, number two, which means they know where they're, to, to be successful in those, you need to know where you are in the ring at all times, especially if you want to take a bump for a guy, because you can be not, you land on top of somebody, you can get hurt, you know, you just need to know where you are. And, you know, I guess I, I, I was 42 years old and, I, and I'd been in the ring a lot, so and then a lot of battle royals with Andre in the old days. So just just knowing where we are. And then I, the key to it is to be fresh enough to feed the guy coming in. That's how the guy, you, you give this guy a, a 30 second all out, you know, whoever's in there feeds and gives this guy who's coming down the ring, the, the next entrant, the best possible feed you can. That's, that's the key to it. You know, and, well, I, and it I'm, should be I'm, noted. I'm, I'm good at that. Well, right, and in that 92 match, every single guy who entered the ring came right at you. Right yep. at you. They know who's going to take the bumps for them. <laughs> and that was Woo. the design. We know, who, we know whose day that was, and it, it, turned out, uh, it turned out to be one of the crowning achievements of your career. Now, how tired were you at the end of that 60 minutes in 1992? Or was the adrenaline just really pumping? Well, Mark, I've been doing those, that, that. I had been wrestling hours my whole life. So I wasn't the least bit tired. Wasn't that was a different a, kind of hour, though, with everything to keep track of and all the different guys? I mean, it, 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 it is, but that I'm that I was I was born to that. I was I mean, for some reason, the hours I never got tired doing an hour, and I got only know it's I've done more than anybody else alive. Um, but I, I'm, I know my body was built for that. For some reason, I've been you know blessed, and I like I like feeding guys. And the fact that you're feeding guys that are already over, which is sometimes not the case now, 
it, it even it even uh, uh, make, it, it creates more of a rush. Well, you were there, you saw it, right? Oh no, it was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. And like one thing we'll talk about at at Link next week was my experience because because I didn't know you didn't tell me I had no idea it was going to happen, which was great for me because mm-hmm. the anticipation watching from the stands, the build, seeing how it was playing out. And I got to be honest, Nate, and, and I should save this for next week. But even at the very end, when there were like five or six guys left, I said, my God, he's still out there. This really gets him over. But I still wasn't sure you were going to win. So it was really built to the end perfectly. Uh, Well, it it certainly was for me. (laughs) I couldn't have been happier. Oh, I celebrated it. The general was there. Remember, he came. I know. I know. Yeah, we we, we all went to the Hilton, right? Yeah, it was (laughs) another night to remember (laughs) on many levels. Another night to remember. (laughs) Now, Nate, another, we are just days another away. Another night to remember, another flight to catch. <laughs> well, and, and speaking of which, speaking of which, we're just days away. We got the live podcast on Friday, January 28th at Hot Shots in O'Fallon, Illinois, right across the border from St. Louis, which is the site of the Royal Rumble. The very next night, we got a few general admission tickets left, and it is going to be a wild scene. I just might have a few Coors Lights. Well... So I will guarantee you I'll have several more Mick Ultras, and we will shoot. <laughs> no doubt. That's going to be memorable. That's going to be that's going to be all the way live. That's going to be no holds barred. Our, so. our first road trip, but far from our last. Well, let's hope. Let's hope we survive this one. I've had my dots a couple times before. Uh, we're gonna, we, we got Dallas next. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Now, as we've been plugging, we got the live podcast January 28th at Hot Shots in O'Fallon, Illinois. That's right across the border from St. Louis. Still a few general admission tickets left if you're in town for the Royal Rumble, which is in St. Louis the very next night. And next week's show is going to be dedicated to the 92 Royal Rumble, the Ric Flair Rumble, 30 years ago. But let's give one more little tease. Your promo after you won the Rumble was tremendous. Does that promo rate as one of your favorites to this day? I didn't think of it. I didn't think of it uh, at that time. That was that was just off the top of my head. But it it was an absolute god honest truth. I was saying with a tear in my, eye, which I did have uh, probably a tear in my eye, several, that um, I was I was sending a message that I wasn't prepared to even hadn't even thought about. So I said they gave me me and Gene. I'm standing with Kurt. And you know what? You know what? I was I was saying that I wanted that to be heard so loud in the towers of Atlanta, TBS. <laughs> well, the, the line that gets quoted all the time is "with a tear in my eye." You you see that referenced in promos to this day. Mm-hmm. Every time Riddle sees me, he goes "with a tear in my eye." <laughs> you know what else I remember for that promo? What? In the middle of the promo, Mean Gene says to somebody off camera, put that cigarette out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Pat Patterson. Is that who it was? Yeah. 